guys I am back again um, with um, a witchy question tag on Instagram but I found it on the YouTube channel of Athena Beth Black and the list of questions was is pretty extended it has 25 questions um, to answer um, less than the 77 questions for a witch um, and the questions I found were really interesting and since I am mixing Chica de Podenko, my dog uh, her videos with uh, my own about clothes, DIYs and witchcraft I decided to hop in and do this uh, as well um, what type one what type of witch are you I don't think I'm a type I think I am very old school as for witchcraft um, it's very weird um, my grandmother was a witch she mentioned it to me several times and um, she always told me that witches could be old women or girls with green fingers working in the garden and doing their rituals and spells while working in the garden uh, getting rid of weed or um, picking apples uh, things like that or do handcrafting like making napkins or clothes or that witches could be excel in cooking uh, not is in making potions or witchy soup but um, just anything desserts uh, quiche lorraine um, potato gratin, uh, sage granita with lemon, anything. Um, witchcraft, she told me, didn't have to do, it wasn't really meant to be a witchcrafty thing like we see it on YouTube so much. So I'm sometimes a little bit confused about what kind of witch I am I have an altar, I have a book of shadows my grandmother had books, lots of books and um, all scrapbooks uh, it could be uh, about knitting, it could be about cooking and these were her magic books um, Book with books with photos she could spend hours and hours and hours working on her scrapbooks so um, I am doing that too using scrapbooks and several books I don't have everything in just one book of shadow um, what type of witch am I? I am definitely a witch that uses Reiki that's kind of new agey and um, I use nature I work with nature a lot uh, I have an animistic side to my witchcraft that means uh, I believe there's a soul in things that other people consider dead or speechless or brainless um, and <clears throat> voodoo is another thing I like to work with and learn more about um, voodoo isn't always black and scary and uh, it can all be always always and um, at all times be used for good things 
So the I'm an animistic side, my grandmother's teachings, uh, Reiki, Voodoo, um, a lot of things mixed together. And I'm not a type, I think. Um, to can you show us your pentacle or pendant or other sacred symbol of jewelry you um, wear? This is my pentagram pentacle um, with a snake through it. And the funny thing about this one is I wear it a lot, almost every day. And here in the Netherlands, um, I never had any comments about it. Nobody looks at me like I'm a strange bitch or a new age fanatic. But in all my... I can try to take it off and let you show a bit better. Um, There's the snake crawling through the pentagram, pentacle. Um, the strange thing about this is nobody cares me wearing this. Um, there are a few exceptions, uh, strange uh, reactions to this, uh, always happening on a vacation with my ex-husband who is now my best friend and my kids my children who are all grown up now and um, when we were in turkey um, in uh, one of those uh, glossy all-inclusive uh, resorts um, this piece of jewelry attracted a lot of um, attention. Uh, people from the animation team that had, had to entertain um, the people at the resort, not just the kids but also the adults. People from Russia, um, people from Turkey, uh, Ukraine, um, and they always approach me and when my ex-husband was in the pool or having dinner and the kids were playing at the beach or in the pool everything every time i was alone not every time but a lot of the times uh, one of the people in the uh, all-inclusive resort especially the people working there uh, would come up to me uh, carefully trying to find out if I was in indeed a witch and when they found when they were reassured uh, they asked me so many things uh, things I they wanted me to do for them doing rituals spells uh, so um, at some point uh, it became so overwhelming, all the attention, that I spread the word to um, say that I was indeed a witch and willing to help. And they had to write their name on a piece of paper uh, in their own language, their name and their wish. Uh, and... Um, I told them it didn't matter if I could read it or not. Uh, I could sense some kind of vibration coming out of those words anyway. And that I would do my work as soon as I got home. And I also told that sometimes it took a little longer. And there I was with a stack of papers uh, in my um, bikini stash. Uh, hidden under some bikini tops and dresses very very strange and a few years ago I was in Egypt with a terribly wrong man uh, a scary stalker 
but um, I got rid of him. That's not the point. Uh, the thing was that in Egypt, the same thing repeated itself. Um, not um, the other um, vacation um, customers in the resort uh, came to me, but the people that worked there wanted to talk to me and I did the same thing. Let them write their name on a piece of paper and their wish or their trouble or their whatever it was they are worried about. And um, the strange thing about this is I always wonder why people don't see me here in the Netherlands wearing this and uh, asking me to help them with certain things. Uh, to me, it feels like people in Arabic, Arab countries are more are honoring witchcraft more than maybe they are scared and careful. They always uh, found a safe moment for them when I was alone. So. Um, my kids are beautiful, my husband is my best friend, so they could have just uh, have a chat with me, but they always approached me when I was alone. Uh, not in the Netherlands, always in Arab countries. So funny. And as soon as I got home, I just took one paper after another and started working with whatever they gave me. Have you considered joining a coven or a circle? Uh, joining no and creating uh, again no. I'm not a people-y people person. Um, I don't know why, but um, I have a problem with women. Or women have a problem with me. I don't know what it is. I feel so strongly about women. Um, having to stick together and support each other and just be each other's cheerleader but uh, for some reason it's a bit difficult with me and women uh, I'm not a people person so they, uh, it's probably my fault um, 5. When and how did you first found out about witchcraft or wicca? Witchcraft, um, I was introduced to witchcraft thingies by my grandmother. When and how? Whenever uh, she had the time to talk to me, or when I was a bit older, I could visit her with the kids and have tea and chat about all kind of subjects. Um, when did you first realize you were a witch? And what made you realize that? Um, I never realized I was a witch. It was a natural thing. I was just being me, not a type, uh, not a witch, just me. And because there was no broom closet, I was terribly naive. And it pissed a lot of people off in my old neighborhood. And I didn't know what I was doing. I was just doing what I was doing all the time, all those years. But at age 30, I think, people in the neighborhood, neighbors, would look at me and say, I know what you're doing. You're evil. And I don't want you to come near to my children. And I think that's what was causing all the gossip in my neighborhood, I don't know. Um, it was me being so open. There was no closet, so I wasn't in and I wasn't out. Um, they started to hate me. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, I was only trying to just be a good mom and help raise some children from Syria with a hard time. Um, trying to be uh, some kind of mother for the whole group 
so to encourage them to play together instead of starting fights all the time but those fingers are a witch I can see through you I know what you're doing and it's bad it's evil you're going to hell and that's when I realized I did something that was either new agey or witchy uh, which of course um, when how old were you when you started as soon as my grandmother started telling stories about her childhood her mother uh, her experiences with being in a boarding school I don't know how she was in Swiss Switzerland uh, very young and there were other, other girls interested in doing seances and um, things like that together um, talking with my grandmother got me going um, what was the first spell you ever casted and did it work uh, that's an easy one it had to do with marbles uh, I was crying my eyes out uh, having lost all my marbles in playing games and with the help of my grandmother I never lost any marble after uh, so I think that was the first spell I casted with my grandmother have you ever ever had a spell fail or backfire uh, no no I don't think so where do you feel your power comes from that's a very difficult one Sometimes I'm sure the power comes from within, from my heart, from my feet, my belly. Um, but sometimes uh, there are de uh, deities that, especially Luke, had a tendency to take over my being, going all protective and warrior like um, so I'm not sure when deities work with me or when I choose a deity to work with or as uh, for example full moon everybody gets influenced by a full moon except you don't know it but when you do you can just work together with the moon phases um, so where do you feel your power comes from that's not too easy which element do you feel most connected to uh, i would say fire uh, for power and cleansing but uh, water is it's hard to choose it's such a difficult question but i'd say fire my first r uh, reflex is to say fire what is the first witchy thing you ever bought? Um, it's either my pendulum or a deck of cards that had to do with dolphins. When I had kids, I sometimes I had with those, those those questions. Being a mom, you always have those alarm bells going off and you want to tap into what's happening with your child when a child says I have a stomach ache and it hurts you never know if it's really the stomach or something else so uh, the card deck and the pendulum help me uh, in the right direction as for helping my children um, what is the name of your favorite tarot deck uh, I'm a witch without a tarot deck. I do don't tarot decks. Um, I have a set of those cute round uh, dolphin cards I use. Uh, and I have a card deck that has nothing to do with witchcraft, but it's dogs. It's all uh, lovely cards with dogs on it. Um, What are some of your favorite herbs, incense, and crystals? Um, I don't have favorite herbs, but my grandmother was 
a huge fan of rosemary so I uh, always think about her when I have a rosemary uh, smell on my hands uh, after working in the garden or while, while working in the garden um, no, no. Um, herbs rosemary uh, uh, absinthe uh, is a good one uh, crystals not really uh, I have a few favorites um, oh yeah it is my big rock it's not a crystal it's just a big rock I dug up at age three um, in the garden of my parents it, yes it's my that's my favorite rock. Um, how do you feel about witches depicted in books, movies and TV shows? I uh, Most of the time I really love it. Um, a TV show like Grimm with Fuchsbaus and Hexenbeest and Zauberbeest and the Grimms of course. And, um, that's my favorite TV show. Uh, I used to be into, <laughs> who wasn't, uh, Supernatural, um, but it, I tried it a few weeks ago, <laughs> I grew out of it or something, I'm too old. Um, that was question 16, question 17, do you ever doubt your craft? No, I don't. Have you ever experienced a spiritual burnout? Any advice? Um, spiritual burnout. As for witchcraft, never. Uh, Reiki, absolutely. All the new age stuff like yoga, palm reading, uh, tarot classes, uh, intuitive programs. It's not my no. It's not my thing. And uh, Reiki teaching. I use Reiki. Uh, but teaching with all those helpless, hopeless, uh, attention-seeking people, not all of them, most of them, I narrowed it down to a few favorites who I still love. Um, and I have them on Facebook and I absolutely, every time I see they posted something, I try to radiate as much white light towards them as possible. Um, 19. What made you want to share your life as a witch on social media? I really don't know. I was working with Chica and Chica, I saved Chica's life. She was in a killing station and after about a few weeks in a foster home, I fell in love with her when I visit, visited her and she saved my life. Uh, she totally, when those neighbors were so uh, hateful towards me, became so hateful towards me, um, I found a closet and I jumped into it and decided uh, I wouldn't come out ever again. Um, but Chica helped me come out of the closet because because of I have a dog, she's a Podenko and she loves to walk, uh, not a 15 minute walk but 20 minutes in the morning up to 30. Uh, two hours in the afternoon at least, most of the time it becomes a three hour walk and a 30 to 40 minute walk in the evening uh, brought me back into nature. Uh, walking a dog uh, is very grounding and every time she is digging a hole or catching a mouse I just look around and see this herb, dandelion, sage, uh, honeysuckle, uh, rosemary, wild berries, and it got me back into the witchcraft game, right?
Hi cutie. Good day. Leave it there. Um and I started a YouTube channel, Chiquetta Podenko, uh, to keep a diary about my dog. Uh, to upload all the things I was doing with her. Uh, going to the park, going to the forest, going to the market. And uh, automatically I started uh, videoing me as a witch and now I'm on Chiquetta Podenko, her YouTube channel with um, a witch video uh, so it's dogs and witches on my channel uh, tell us something 20 tell us something you know that you would that you wish you knew when you begin walking your path I wish I knew there was a closet a closet to hide in and a closet you could could come out with going in going out going in going out but for me there wasn't a closet so i knew didn't know how to hide when necessary with all these you know in my old neighborhood all those christian people uh with their i know what you're doing and very scary experience i'm glad i moved out into a new home with a few ghosts and i'm so happy here um 21 can you share a simple craft with us uh, well if you want me to see me walking the dog please check out all those uh, videos where chica is digging holes and i am looking around for beautiful trees etc and do meditation while walking or no uh, walk working in the garden as a meditation tool and as a ritual it's in itself to perform magic i think it's almost impossible being a witch like i am 22 do you have any words or tips for newbies don't be too eager don't want to go too fast just slow down take your time and um, be careful uh, maybe it's a stupid thing to say to be careful but please be careful you never know uh, if there are people out there that want to kill you or have you dead or have you removed from their life or neighborhood um, and for as for buying crystals uh, I believe in stones crystals minerals but uh, the new age witchy stores and new age shops their prices are way too high and I don't like this I don't know why um, I was eager myself at some point buying jewelry, stones, gems, minerals, crystals, wands, and it turned out I never really used them. So, um, shout out some witchy channels. Uh, I can't help you with that. For 24, name some magical places you wish to visit. Um, I'm not a Stonehenge or Tibet kind of person. Or the pyramids it's just boxes in a huge uh, sand storm what I like is Sweden I was in Sweden once only one time and it was so impressive those forest woods streams rocks uh, ferns the most amazing country I think and turkey turkey i would li love to visit uh, turkey uh, at some point in my life um, i can't leave chica and my dog alone so uh, it will take a while but um, sweden is manageable i think with a dog and a camper uh, a mobile home maybe or just a car and a few bed and breakfast addresses 
not sure uh, speak from the heart um, if you have children and you want to raise them in witchcraft please let them know there is a closet and some things have to be sacred and kept secret I think that's it uh, if I if in in the in the environment I'm environment I grew up with my grandmother and there a lot of the time it was able to not have a broom closet but uh, after she dies and I was all by my own on my all alone and on my own uh, I didn't have anyone to talk to and I just was too enthusiastic and active and I wasn't portraying myself as being witch but I did those things that should have been hidden so I hope you like it it's a bit dark here um, I hope I will see you again soon with your own answers and um, sometimes I have a little bit of problems with focusing on the camera I think this is it so I'm trying and I'm Dutch so apologies again for my crappy English but maybe uh, besides witchcraft things I can learn from you uh, I can also catch up on some better English uh, vocabulary vocabulary nah. anyway bye I love you and I love you very much